You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Here is a complete video of a maker set from start to finish. If you want to skip ahead to specific points in the video, then check the description below for skip times. Enjoy! Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop and it's time for another maker. This is like a mini maker compared to some of the maker sets where you have all parts to set up and different pieces and bags and you got to get all prepped here. It's ready to go. It's in the box. It's the ice cream magic. It says it makes ice cream in three minutes as seen on TV. So now you're going to see it at Lucky Penny Shop. Let's see. Personal ice cream. Prepare, shake, enjoy. Let's get down there and see those kids. Are they happy? I want to make sure, yes. And he's got a cool shaking technique on the middle kid there with the two hands, like he's shaking some kind of maraca or something. So I'm going to do that. And then, uh, and by the way, I have a huge storm going off in the background here, lightning and thunder. So if you hear it, uh, that's what it is. And look at her, yes, she looks extremely happy. Make ice cream in three minutes. It says, also great to serve ice cream, sorbet, Italian ice, and keep them cold. Ah. Ooh, hear that thunder? I'm going to keep going here. So, warning. Wash the product thoroughly before use. So, we'll do that after we get it out of the box. So, let's do that, huh? Let's zoom this camera out. There we go. And there's a nice ice cream cone looking spoon. And then, uh, let's see. That pulls out. There's the instructions. So we can set the box off to the side. And then this one twist tie on the back. See? Nice and easy on this one. And then there's your ice cream magic. And let's see how much magic we can make here. So that's all the pieces. Let's see. Ah, okay. So this, this, and this. And a piece of cardboard. And a measuring scoop. So we'll see what that's for. We'll go over the instructions. And that's uh, that's what it is. So this is uh, aluminum, it feels like, or metal with a rubber gasket. So that's going to go on there. It seals on there. Here's a little lid that holds everything in so that when you put your final cover on it, you'll see some notches around here. It locks in. There, locked in. Okay, so let's just take a look at the instructions while that sits there. Prepare, shake, enjoy. Ice cream magic. Where's that nice logo? See, that looks better. Recipe and instructions. Ah, so there's all the instructions. Getting started, what you will need. Important, not for microwave. You can read that. I'll enlarge it if you need it and pause the video. So basically, removing the lids, putting in the ice, the salt, the water, putting it back on, then your top ingredients go in. Add ice cream ingredients to the fill line of the freezing bowl, okay? Firmly place, lock into place, and shake. Look at that. He is going nuts there. And then here are, looks like, the recipes with little sprinkles, little cake and ice cream sprinkles there. It says, mix ingredients in a separate container before putting into the freezing bowl. So we'll do that. And let's take a look. You got vanilla, chocolate, strawberry, chocolate chip, vanilla coconut, chocolate coconut, s'mores, peanut butter, banana split, cookies and cream, very delicious. Now, bananas and split looks like you have to make three different ice creams, so we're not going to do that. But I think, uh, well, let me wash everything, come back, grab all the ingredients, and we'll show you which one we're going to do in this set. Well, here we go. I'm all set. Everything's been washed. The only thing that actually touches the ice cream part is the inside of this and really the bottom of this lid, besides your spoon, of course. Everything else really isn't in contact with the ingredients, but we wash it anyway. Got our timer set, all of our other ingredients ready to go. So the first thing is to do the ice. So we're going to do that first. Now you fill the ice to this line right here. I've got a mixture of really crushed and some bigger pieces in there. So this stuff never comes in contact with the actual uh, ice cream. It's really the chilling agent. And that's what the salt does. The salt helps the chilling process. So there you go, right to the line. And it was four tablespoons of water. And then four tablespoons of salt. Now they showed in the opposite order, but you know, it really doesn't matter, does it? 
So we put this in, that's sealed, okay? So now it's getting the ingredients ready. Now they do recommend that you do that off the actual unit first. So you prep all your ingredients in here. So we decided to do, got my recipe here, we are going to do the chocolate chip mint ice cream. So it's a quarter cup heavy whipping cream, which is in there, a quarter teaspoon of peppermint, and one tablespoon of sugar. So let me get my sugar in here. I have my peppermint. So let's do one tablespoon of the sugar. It says you can do more too if you want it sweeter. All right. And then the peppermint. Then we'll mix that up and get started. I'll use this to mix it just because it's handy and I'm here. Now that gets poured into the uh, top section now of the ice cream magic. I'm going to mix in the chocolate chips and actually just sprinkle them on the top. Okay, that is set. So now we need to pour that into the top of this. And we're going to get shaken. It's shaken to make it. It's right on their line, which is good. Let's get that off to the side. Let's get this on here. Now what I need to do is actually get cleaned up here. Let me find the right marking here. Oh, wait. One mistake. Almost made a mistake. There you go. I forgot that. Just to make sure it is sealed. Almost forgot one piece. That would have been an ice cream magic mess, but we caught it. There we go. All right, now that's locked on there. Good. We're all set. I'm going to clean up here and get a shaking, all right? So here we go. Everything's cleaned off the table. I'm setting the timer for three minutes, and it's going now, and I'm going to start shaking, okay? And I'm going to use just one hand and keep going. But while I do this, I know three minutes of a boring time, and I can't really read a book. So we thought, why not give you some future video content? Yes, things that might be coming up in the near future so you can see them. So as you can hear this shaking in the background, I'm going to bring in this set. This is a vintage Fundo set. It's the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles makes five turtles. Look at that. It's a Rose Art item. Pretty neat. That's coming up. Let's see. What else do we have here? We have... Now we got a lot of requests for these kinds of makers. It's the Girl Gourmet Sweets. And this one is the Ring, the Candy Ring Maker. Now there's a ton in this line here. This is the first set we have. You hear me? Okay. I know it's exciting, right? It's exciting to see what we have here. Now this one, we had a lot of requests for more Dr. Dreadful. So this is the Dr. Dreadful Zombies Organ Grinder set. And you know what? It was a dollar fifty at the Salvation Army, still sealed in the original box. That's cool we found it. Still shaking. This one's a little item. This was a dollar eighty at a thrift store. It's a little s'mores maker. You just actually take your s'mores set them on there and microwave them. So we're going to give that a shot. Why not? Looked fun. Not that expensive. Still shaking. Now this one looked really fun. This is the easy to make Jolly Rancher Gummy Pop Maker. And we have an extra refill too for this. Just happened upon it somewhere. Looked interesting. There's very few online that we can find. Actually this was the only one we found when we... Uh, so we got it, right? Let's keep going. Still shaking, you hear it? We've had requests for this one here. This is the SpongeBob SquarePants Snow Cone Maker. Now we have probably three different snow cone makers. This one here is SpongeBob. There's also another version, very similar to this, that makes ice cream and snow cones. We don't have that one. So I thought, alright, can't mess up on SpongeBob, he's cool. Next one. This is a Woggle Pets. Now, I'm not familiar with it. It was a request. We have it. 
when you have to make a video of it, you actually build them with love and care. Your own stuffed animals, you decorate them. I'm kind of looking forward to that. Never did it before. Still shaking. See, that's me shaking. And the time now is... Oh, I'm almost done. Here, let's throw this one in real quick. The timer's going to go off soon. This is a Play-Doh Sweets Cafe Perfect Pop Maker. Now, this was also uh, Salvation Army for $1.50, unopened box, still sealed. Thought, why not grab it? We've had requests for this one. All right, all right, hold on, hold on. So that's the timer. Let's just look. So that was three minutes. Now, if it's not enough, they said you can actually... All right, stop. Let's just see if we have it, anything yet. Ooh. Let me grab my spoon. Now there is some chilling there. Right now, I do feel it on the bottom. So it's thick on the bottom, not on the top yet. So I'm going to go a little longer. I'm eating it though. Mmm, mint. Just for time's sake though, I have to reset the timer. Just so that I know how much time. So we're going for maybe another three minutes, huh? So what else do we have? Well, this one here, another request, is the Fidget Friends, and it works too. Yes, this is how we got it. So we're going to open this up and show you. All right, we hear you. We love you. You're doing a great job. Keep making, keep making. How about this? Are there Nerf fans out there? Well, here is a vintage Nerf Max Force Gator. We got the Gator, and we also have the Max Force Stinging Scarab. Those are really cool. Original boxes, never open. Found that at a little store. Now, these are about $7 each, but they're very hard to find like that. Games? Well, games galore. How about the Furby Adventure game? Yes, we have that. We have quite a few cool Furby items coming. Games, tons of games. Easy Bake Ovens, all kinds of cool stuff. Do you want to see more? Okay. You do know that these videos are all coming. How about, uh, let's see, this one here. I said we had more snow cone makers. Well, there's the Snoopy one. We have the original one and the vintage one. So we're going to show them both at the same time and make snow cones with those. Ooh, this is exciting. You guys getting excited, guys and gals? How about another SpongeBob item? Look at that. It's the Groom and Go SpongeBob SquarePants Shaving Kit. Still got to decide who I'm going to shave, but it looks like a cool kit, doesn't it? All right, that one's done. Is there more? Yes, there's more. Vintage stuff? Do you like vintage stuff? Well, how about this here? It is a vintage Fisher Price Magna Mover. It was in the original box, found at an estate sale for $2. Now I like Fisher Price, so I thought, hmm, that looks pretty cool, and it's in excellent condition. So we've had another two minutes, and I've been shaking vigorously and trying to grab things, so let's see where we're at. I can't believe I almost forgot that lid. So it's, it's still very creamy. But on the bottom, it is thicker. I'm trying to get some of that out. See? So on the edges. So that to me looks more like ice cream. So let me put some chips on there. Ooh, look at that. They sink in. So that was almost six minutes. Timer's going to go off. And I'm going to say... Not too hot. What do you all think about this one? What could I have done different? Maybe mix a lot more. Oh, see, that looks pretty good there. Let me do that. Let me take that piece with the chip so I get the mint chocolate chip taste. I'm going to eat it. It's really like a milkshake. And I would keep eating it, actually. 
Plus, I'm out of breath. And I'm sweating. I'm literally sweating from all that shaking. So what do you think? Well, it's not like you see on the commercials where they give you this giant ice cream's forming over the top. But it's still, I think it's it's okay. Not one of the best we've seen. But sure enough, you did get to see a lot of the stuff that's coming up with Lucky Penny Shop. And that's exciting, right? So thanks for watching. We really do appreciate it. It's the ice cream magic. Look at that. Okay, just wanted an update here. Took it downstairs, put it in the freezer for about a half hour. And then this is what it looks like now. So, I think... You know, maybe just at the time of the video, and so it does look, and came out pretty good. So now, I could top it off with my chocolate chips, like I should have, well, like it should have been the first time, and eat it. And this time, it really does taste like mint chocolate chip ice cream. And look, it goes all the way down. Look at the consistency. So I'm going to say, if you stick it in the freezer you're going to have yourself a nice little treat. So that's the little update there. We do appreciate it. Later. This video is now over. If you want to see more videos in this series, check the description, search the channel, or click here. And always remember, if you see a lucky penny, pick it up.